we had um, Flossdorf was the town, little town that we, my particular unit was in, and uh, there was farm. It was farmland, uh, and taking Flossdorf, um, we had to go across a beet. They had these beets, sugar beets, and the field was flat. And uh, the towns here and the beach are between us and the town. And uh, they had put snipers that pick pick these uh, beets and pile them up in piles. And uh, we didn't know that they had snipers underneath those piles. And I lost the sergeant from getting up out of his foxhole at that time, uh, you know, he got up in a holiday and it was too late. Or just that, uh, but we didn't know that those snipers were out there. And we found it out. <laughs> were snipers a big concern at that point in time? Yes, yes. And how did you protect yourself from snipers, obviously being an officer, you were a prime target, I would assume. Well, we didn't wear, we didn't wear our sights that day. Uh, but, um, you know, that, that, was, you, <laughs> that was just part of the ball game. <laughs> So if you weren't wearing your insignia, how did you identify with your men? Were you Well, we, that's, that was one of the things we had to advantage. We had been working together and I knew them by name and knew where they were from and things like that. Yeah. So you've had a good relationship with your NCOs? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 